Hello Bookaholics, welcome back to my channel. This is Angela, your own Bookaholic Brownlim. You can call me Angie. In this channel, I talk about books. So if you're a bookaholic like me, please do not hesitate from subscribing to my channel. Also, please like, share and comment so that I can engage with you. Today is a very quick short video. I wanted to share with you a couple of books that I bought over the past uh, weeks, actually three books. And it was kind of an impromptu buy and also i want you to have a peek at a journal that i'm setting up for a particular theme which i'm quite super excited about so without further ado let's get into it if you had seen my reading journal video in which i had also shared my reading goals one of the goal is that i want to read from the books that i already own and stop myself from buying new books so i'm in a kind of a self-imposed book buying ban but unfortunately that particular goal was not that successful i obviously ended up buying some books but actually i have valid reasons for why i broke my promise to myself and went ahead and bought the books so the first book uh, it actually featured in my previous video if you haven't watched that video Please check out the card here. So this is a non-fiction book. This is written by Ed Winters. And this is called, this is Vegan Propaganda and Other Lies the Meat Industry Tells You. So that's the name of the book. So I do follow Ed Winters, the author of this book. Uh, his handle on social media is actually Earthling Ed. He is a vegan advocate and uh, uh, he is an animal rights. Uh, activist. I really like the approach he takes in professing veganism uh, to non-vegans. He's very level-headed and he is not confrontational. At the same time, he tries to argue his uh, viewpoint um, for very scientific and uh, grounded demeanor. So I, I like I like his overall approach. I saw this being promoted by. Um, our boy what's his name what's his name how can i forget his name cosmic skeptic alex o'connor yeah so in his channel he had shared this so immediately i went to amazon i bought it and i really wanted a good copy of this uh, so i bought the handbag it's really really good that's the first buy next uh, is actually something that i bought from um uh, website that i came across while i was browsing instagram so they have a page on instagram called oldbookdepot.in and that's the name of their website as well they are actually used books uh, shop i think and they have a lot of interesting uh, books available in their website and i found very beautiful hard copy of charles dickens works i ordered two of them and this is how they look look at the spine and now look at the front covers so it's beautiful i hope you can see it so the first one is edwin drood and master humphrey's clock and the second one is reprinted pieces uh, so maybe they are a collection of his short stories for something that i bought from an old bookshop the quality of books uh, is really good actually um, the pages are so neat and clean it's almost look like they've never been read before or used before uh, so I'm quite happy with my buy uh, I'm sure these are part of a you know whole range of books of Charles Dickens uh, collections so I'm gonna buy the rest of them uh, as well if, if they are in stock or when they come in stock and uh, buy and collect more of these and i'm really really happy with this buy so go and check out their channel i'm not being paid by them or something i'm just promoting this because i really like the buy from them oh yeah so the prices uh, i got this one for 2.99 and this one for 3.99 rupees so quite affordable go and check it out guys Next up is a journal that I created over the past couple of days. I wanted to document my journey uh, through the YouTube world and the booktube world and my growth and my journey as such. And also I wanted to chart out my goals and write down some inspiring quotes. And I wanted a journal to do that. So I had this book that I bought from Miniso, um, which is a franchisee of a Japanese um, stationery shop i think uh so i went there and i bought this diary which was pretty cute at that time i found it very 
uh, nice. So this is how the journal looks like. I haven't put anything on the cover. It's just like how I bought it. So it says magic notebook for answers and it says got questions. The book has the answers. And when we open it, you know, every page has some random quote or saying, make a list of why it will create a stir. A year from now, it won't matter. Act as though it's already real. Adopt an adventurous attitude and blah blah blah. I had this notebook for around two years sitting on my bookshelf, never being touched, never being used. Yesterday when I was sitting down to basically chart out my plans and goals for YouTube, uh, for my booktube channel, I decided that I should, you know, journal it. Uh, it's a fun way of tracking, you know, how things are going with my channel. So that's when I decided that maybe I should use this notebook, which was sitting on my, you know, shelf for like two years. I haven't done many pages, just a couple of pages. Let's have a quick look into those. So first page looks like this. Book to planner, ideas as a new currency, plan, execute, grow, and um, some random pictures here content value not production value actually there's a spelling mistake here sorry uh and uh, then yeah do not compare only learn and uh, some stuff that i want to carry out in my channel this is oops sorry the reason why i started this channel and why i want this channel and uh, this is the result so you can see there are you know color themes that i'm following here so this is like kind of an orange color theme you know sunset color theme this is purple here it is green and uh, yeah so i generally follow color themes than rather than you know subject themes mostly uh the, the overall subject is there but at the same time I want to have a color theme as well so that's because you know it looks much more aesthetically pleasing if we have a color theme so this is basically what I'm planning for this journal journaling is something that I really really love it's kind of my second hobby apart from reading I love writing down things random stuffs this kind of scrapbook journaling I really enjoy because there is a lot of like cutting and pasting creativity involved it, it's kind of very therapeutic for me so that's why i decided to do journal so i have actually three journals now one is a reading journal which i have shared with you already and uh, second is this one and i have my own personal uh, journal so three journals currently and i'm quite happy with all, how all of them are turning out so 2022 looks like the year of the journal for me this was a quick video guys i just wanted to pop up and show the new buys and also my journal to you i hope you like this quick video if you did please like share and subscribe i will see you soon in another video this is angie signing off bye bye